I was reading an article and it said that uh, it was asking something to the effect of do uh, the Seinfeld characters have some sort of psychoses? Do they have psychological problems? Are they bad people? Honey, and I've, have psychological problems. And I've never liked it when they said that the, the characters on Seinfeld were bad people because they were real people. That's what made it fun. Real people have issues. Real people do selfish things. And that was what made the show great. Now, after I heard some talking head, and this is back in the late 90s, say something to that effect that the Seinfeld characters are okay, bad people. Okay. It's one o'clock. Seriously, people sleeping downstairs and to the right and to the left. Can you please turn off those? But that's when they sort of became caricatures of themselves after that. Where the, their behavior became exaggerated and they were doing like these truly horrible things when they weren't doing that prior to it. They may be doing selfish and self-serving things. That's what people do, you know? Okay. That's it. At nighttime, this place has a security guard, and uh, they have these gates here. But the funny thing about this place is, I've seen the mo the most scary people drive out of here. Uh, you always hear people yelling. The police are over here all the time. Why, why would this place need a security guard? We need a security guard from this place. David Sweat was finally captured. He said his intention was to make it to Mexico. They found him about as far from Mexico as you can possibly get within the United States. He was 10 miles from the Canadian border. Look at these guys. They look like they just caught a three-point buck. Look at him posing in front of the body. It looks like one of those Abu Ghraib pictures. How does that make all you criminals feel to know that all you have to do is run from a cop and they can shoot you? You don't even have to be armed. You know, maybe you had too much to drink, you had a few too many uh, white Russians and something else, and you ran a red light, and you hit a pedestrian, and you're forced to flee the scene, and because you're running from a cop, now he can shoot you. It's very comforting. Let's do it. 